What's the worst current experience you've ever had, Jim? Worst current experience. Oh, okay. Uh, I can see you running through the whole criteria in your head and running through. Uh, no, I'm, in my head, I'm going through the kind of quest, the questions that come to me and the scenarios. I'll give you a classic one: is when you know when you're winning for a customer, right? And you know when the you're, traffic when you're is going up. No, no, no. So like you've got a client on board, they've been with you for two, three years, you know, and uh, everything is going great. Uh, yeah. So the revenue is going up, uh, the traffic is going up, the keywords are going up. I mean, everything is, uh, the stars are aligned and they're all going right. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's the worst thing, that, uh, the worst experience I have is when uh, complacency kicks into a client. So not for us, but for the client itself, right? So I've had, I've had an incident where a client uh, has been with us for, you know, three, four years, say, for instance, and they'll come back and say, you know, we've been with you for four years and uh, we think we can do better now. So, you know, we're doing brilliantly as a business. We've grown so much with you guys. So thank you for that. But we think we can do better than you. We think we're too big for you now. Right. You know, we're, as, as a company, we think we're too big for you as an agency. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, that always shocks me because I'm thinking there's no such thing as too big, you know, for, for an agency because obviously we're in digital space at the end of the day, right? Mm -hmm. So. We, we have a plethora of skills in-house that we, we uh, uh, supply to our customers and they're all in-house, I might add as well. They're not outsourced at all. And so this customer, this particular customer I'm talking about actually said, we're too big for you. I says, uh, okay, uh, so why do you think that? And I go, well, you know, we've reached a certain level. We now want to go to the next, next level. Mm. I said, okay, well, you know, the, to go to the next, next level, you need to increase your resources. You need to do this, 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 and this. Uh, and I go, I'm happy to facilitate that for you. Uh, we've got the resource in the house to do that for you as well. And uh, they came back with, no, no, we think we need to go for somebody of a heart, la larger team than yours, um, right. which really confused me. I was like, you know, well, I just understand why you don't want to leave because look, all the figures are like that, you know, it's all going up, yeah. skyrocketing. And so why would you want to leave a team that's winning for you all the time? Mm -hmm. And you want to jump ship to another agency because you're winning. And I, that, honestly took me back a little bit. Uh, obviously, uh, when the client wants to leave, we never stand in the way. We make that uh, transition very, very smooth for them. Um, as soon as they put uh, uh, in writing that they want to leave, uh, we then have a process for offboarding that client as well. Yeah. Uh, and it's as smooth as onboarding as well itself. Yeah. So we offboarded this client, uh, we shook hands, we always keep uh, the relationship uh, always cordial. Yeah, because you never people. know what's going to happen in the future, right? Yeah, of course. And so the client went off to another agency um, and then uh, six weeks later, I get a phone call from the client saying, oh, you know, we're, we're still hosting a website with you, blah, blah, blah. And I, I'm thinking, damn, they want to move the website off as well. I'm like, mm. you know, okay, cool. And he says, um, well, actually, we've got a new project which we want to talk to you about. And I said, uh, okay. And they started talking to me about this project. And then I said, uh, how come you're not going to your new agency for this new project? How come you're coming mm. back to us? And then the real conversation was like, well, the relationship with the other agency is not great because they're not doing what you were doing for us. You weren't, you no, know, the communication isn't there. Right. The performance, the performance isn't there. The paid ads that you were doing were doing brilliantly and now they're not doing as good. Uh, and so we re-onboarded them eight weeks after they left. Wow. Right, and they're still with us now. So, uh, and, and, and that's the kind of thing you have to deal with. It's like, you're doing a great job. I mean, obviously when you're not, when, the, when, when things aren't going great, you know what you need to do. You need to do something yeah, to fix obviously. the problem, which is yeah. uh, the traffic isn't there, the keywords are not going up. So you know that there's a problem to fix, but when there's nothing to fix, how do you fix the problem? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just yeah. can't. So that was one of the biggest, so the challenge that I could think of was like, wow, that's a customer who, who should be happy, but isn't happy. And they want to move on somewhere else. And it just really took me back a little bit, but uh, thankfully they came back as a client anyway.